Be sure to like and subscribe if you like content like this. And don't be too shy to leave a comment. Also, content warning. There is implied induced forced sleep previously in the script. Are you awake? Ah, you looked this way. I guess you are then. Perfect. I didn't want to disturb you, but I just got home and I had so much I wanted to tell you. None of my friends care about what I say. You're the only one who listens to me. Hey. It's bad manners to drool all over yourself like that. You'll make a mess. But don't worry. I won't hold it against you. In fact, I'll wipe it up. There's not much you can do with your hands chained up, after all. Nah. It even dripped down here. Guess I'll have to wipe that too. There you go. All clean. Ah, that reminds me. I have to feed you something first. Silly me, just thinking about myself. And of course, you must be starving. You didn't get to eat anything since breakfast, and I had to work a little overtime because of a meeting, so I'm a lot later than usual. I'm so sorry about that, sweetie. But now that we're living together, I have to bring in some extra money. I know, I know. You want to get out there to work for the sake of our lifestyle. I can tell. Even if you didn't say anything. You were my student for two semesters after all. We've gotten so close that I can even see it in your eyes. I love that strong work ethic of yours. That diligence. But you can't. It's dangerous outside. The world is full of scary people who have no regard for you. And it's my job to do everything I can to protect you from those creeps. So please, bear with it for now. I know you can. And you're so good. A full adult with such a good head on your shoulders. But the world really doesn't care about that. The world just wants to beat you down, make you suffer. And I can't let that happen to someone as precious as you. And I can't let you turn out like me. Ah, wait, this isn't what I wanted to talk about. And... I still didn't get you any food. I'll go back up to the kitchen and whip something up in a few minutes. Be right back. And here you go, sweetie. I made some of those pizza rolls that you like so much. They bake so fast in my air fryer. I never saw the appeal of these pizza things before. But since you were always buying them, I figured that they must be special. But still, we shouldn't have them too often. So tomorrow I'll prepare something a little more healthy. Alright? Here, say ah... Uh... Hmm? You... 
can't open your mouth all the way. Uh, did I mess up the dosage again? I thought you were looking a little drowsy, but I thought you were just a little bored. I'm so sorry, sweetie. You know how clumsy I can be. I was in a hurry this morning and must have messed it up again. I promise, I'll be more careful. In the meantime, since you can't really eat solid food like this, I'll just give you something to drink. Luckily, I already brought down your favorite. This energy drink is also something you bought often, right? I'm glad my surveillance came in handy. It's a little too strong for me, but I guess it's just right for you. Here, I'll tilt your head up a little so you can drink some. That's it. Drink a little more. Okay, that should be good for now. Soon, I'll try again with solid food, and of course, some more liquids. <laughs> You're so precious. So good. You didn't even spill a single drop. Since you're so well behaved, I think I'll give you a reward. That's actually one of the things I've wanted to talk to you about. I was going through my surveillance data, and I was reminded of one of your pastimes. You used to enjoy watching and listening to those ASMR videos, right? Nah, you don't have to say a thing. I know some people still find it embarrassing, but I find them pretty cool. Anyway, I studied a few of the videos in your history and thought I could copy one or two of them. The head massage seemed simple enough. I know I'm clumsy, but I think I could pull this off. I hope you're ready. I really hope I'm doing this right. The person in question can't really tell if I mess up. I just have to believe that I'm doing a good thing. You do seem a little more relaxed than you were a second ago. That's good. I'll keep going then. I have to make sure I get over here, too. Nah. You twitched a little when I scratched this spot. Now keep that in mind. <laughs> I'm sure that this is fun for the person receiving the massage. But I really like giving you a massage as well. Pampering you gives me the most joy. That's part of the reason I brought you here. Like I said before, I want to protect you. But also, I want to make you happy. I'm sure this massage is doing the trick. So I'll do it more often from now on. You don't have a problem with that. Do you? <laughs> I didn't think so. Uh, you're so adorable when you're not resisting. Well, how was that? Did it put you at ease? No response, huh? That meant it was so relaxing, it made you even more drowsy. 
They'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> you look so adorable like that. No need to... Maybe I'll make this picture my wallpaper. Ah, speaking of pictures, there's still some empty space on the walls. I need to fill them with pictures of myself. That way you'll feel less lonely during the day, right? Maybe we can have a photo shoot over the weekend. <laughs> you can take all the pictures you want. I can even dress up a little. I've always been a little jealous of the others who can do that. Cosplay, I believe it is. Stuff so boldly. Besides, I know you also love that kind of thing. After all... Your Twitter account was full of stuff like that. Ah, uh, but I guess you won't be able to hold the camera like that. Hmm, maybe I can lower your dosage that day. And you'll be able to move your arms a little more. In fact, if you behave, maybe I can lower it all together. I mean... I'm sure you learned your lesson from the last time you tried to act out. Remember? When you tried to make a bunch of noise so that people could notice you? You really put us both in a tough stop. I didn't want to be mad at you, but I couldn't hide how disappointed I was. I had to hit you a couple of times until you really started screaming. I couldn't think of another way to prove just how effective my soundproofing is, but I think I got the point across. Let me have a peek under your shirt. Uh, looks like the marks haven't healed yet. Mm, and you still wince to the touch. I hope you can forgive me for that. But sometimes, discipline is necessary. Thanks to that, I'm confident that you won't repeat those mistakes again. So I'll unchain one arm, and you can be my cameraman. I'm looking forward to it already. Uh, I can only have this much fun with you. You remind me so much of how I was in college. That must be why we understand each other so well. And since I understand you so well... <laughs> well, I say it's about time to watch some TV. I'll put on one of those Japanese shows you're always watching on Netflix. I don't really know what's going on in these shows. Uh, there's so much violence. But I know watching them makes you happy, so I don't mind at all. Let's see. Now on this one for tonight. Okay. I think that's enough for the night. It ended on a bit of a cliffhanger, but we really need to get some rest for tomorrow. I think not getting enough sleep is part of why I messed up your meds. You don't want me to do that again, right? Mm, good. So let's get a good night's sleep together. I'll sit against the wall with you. So we can cuddle like usual. That way we can both relax. Ah. <sighs> I guess I should wipe you down and brush your teeth. But I'm so comfortable like this. I don't want to get up again. Don't worry. I'll clean you up extra well in the morning. I promise. That will help motivate me for the rest of the day. So it's a win-win. 
come on and get closer to me. Still having trouble, huh? In that case, now I'll just put my head on your shoulder. Mm, this is the best. I don't know how I got through my days before I met you. Everything was so dull. But now everything is different. When I wake up, I see you. When I come home, I can greet you. When I cook, I get to make a plate for you. And before I go to sleep, the last thing I see is you. I can't imagine anything better than this. Because of you, I feel like the luckiest man on earth. You also feel lucky, right? I'm sure you do. But even lucky people need to get proper sleep. Good night, sweetie. was a great dream I had. I'll tell you about it as I get ready for this morning. You still look a little groggy, but it seems the meds have finally worn off. How are you feeling? Did you sleep well? I see. You're still in that rebellious phase where you don't want to answer me. That side of you is still cute, though. I'm sure you're just embarrassed about last night, since we got to hang out a lot without your usual resistance. Your head wasn't all there for it. But now that the fog is cleared, you remember everything, don't you? I was hoping something like that would happen. That's why I purposefully gave you a different dosage yesterday. And since it worked, now I know just the right amount to use when I want to make you more... cooperative. I won't do it every day, of course. I'd rather save it for special occasions. Don't look so scared, because right now, your scared face is even cuter than usual. And if you look at me like that, I'll have to give you even more medicine. Here, say, ah. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Prince Cairo, and thank you all once more for listening to another video. Drop a comment if you haven't already, and be sure that you are subscribed. Special thank you goes out to all of my patrons, especially that of my precious pets. Mystic37, Creek, Vinoan, Toka, T. Briscoe, Michelle, Nikki Paley, and Lindsay Travers. Thank you all so, so much for all that you do, be a patron or not, sharing my videos is more than enough for me. If you want to keep up with me, all my socials, all my good stuff, or even donate, all of my socials will be in my link tree in the pinned comment down below. Thank you all so, so much for everything that you do. I have been Prince Cairo, and remember that your prince loves you all. Mwah.